Hello, my name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books, reading and stuff. Slough by John Benjamin. Slough by John Benjamin. Come friendly bombs and fall on slough. It isn't fit for humans now. There isn't grass to graze a cow. Swarm over death. Come bombs and blow to smithereens, those air-conditioned bright canteens, tinned fruit, tinned meat, tinned milk, tinned beans, tinned minds, tinned breath. Mess up the mess they call a town, a house for 97 down, and once a week for half a crown for 20 years. And get that man with double chin, who'll always cheat and always win who washes his repulsive skin in women's tears and smashes desk of polished oak and smashes hands so used to stroke and stop his boring dirty joke and make him yell but spare the bald young clerks who add the profits of stinking cad it's not their fault that they are mad they've tasted hell it's not their fault they do not know the bird song from the radio. It's not their fault they often go to Maidenhead. And talk of sport and makes of cars in various bogus Tudor bars. And then look up and see the stars, but belch instead. In labour saving homes with care, their wives frizz out peroxide hair and dry it in synthetic air and paint their nails. Come friendly bombs and fall on slough To get it ready for the plough The cabbages are coming now The earth exhales That was my poem for Poetry Thursday John Benjamin is a fucking snob Sorry, that wasn't clever Shit, I've lost 12 subscribers already Cuss words shouldn't use cuss words on YouTube. When George Carlin did his sketch about seven words you can't use on TV, uh, five of them are blanked out in the automated captions of YouTube. Apparently two of them are okay now for YouTube. It's not clever, it's not funny. Don't use cuss words on YouTube. But John Benjamin is a snob. <laughs>